Your Coca-Cola bottler presents Claudia. Claudia, based on the original stories by Rose Franken. Brought to you transcribed Monday through Friday by your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. Relax, and while you're listening, refresh yourself. Have a Coke. And now, Claudia. Oh, this is nice. Isn't it nice? Yep, but uh, I feel a little guilty. Guilty good or guilty bad? Definitely bad. It's half past four in the afternoon. I'm walking with my wife, that's why. That's no good reason. Ask any man on the street. Hey, where we go? The park. All right. We'll cross over on 60th Street. Oh, I wouldn't cross over on any other. <laughs> Say, the apartment will be nice and clean when we get back. Bertha's thorough cleaning and making stew for supper while she does Excuse it. Excuse me, madam. Oh, I, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Darling, watch out where you're going. I was watching something else. Oh, David, there's a little Chinese porcelain, sort of like the one Roger gave us last night. See yeah. it in that store window there? But it's not near as fine. Well, even I can tell that. You uh, really like Roger's present, don't I you? I love it. I wouldn't part with it for the world. He's sort of like an old member of our family. About 950 years older than we'll ever be. Especially if you don't watch out for that car. Hey, be careful, Claudia, will you? Why should I be the lights with us? You want that printed on your headstone? Well, why doesn't that driver get a ticket? He could have killed you. Me? You were the one that almost walked into him. Oh, you were closer to him than I was. Well, I'm tougher. Don't depend on it. Say, let's go into the park here, David. All right. David, what do you think? The zoo's right over there. No, you don't say. Didn't you know? <laughs> <laughs> I never guess. Oh, David, how wonderful. You're the same way about zoos I am. I am? I thought I'd have to educate you to them. I'll have you know that I have had an elephant staked out in this zoo for years. You have? Mm-hmm. She's nothing but a baby, but she's the sweetest little elephant you ever saw. I've kept an eye on her since the day she was born. Oh, Dave, now how could you have had her staked out for years and still say she's nothing but a baby? It is obvious, my dear, that you don't know elephants like I know elephants. Tilly is a baby. A baby at heart, a baby among elephants. How old is she? Oh, about 18. Just the same age as you are. What curves, what dimensions. The man who invented the elephant really did something, you know that? Elephants are gothic. And Tilly, I suppose, is the most gothic of all. Oh, not yet. She is but a babe in arms. Say, David, how do you think Tilly will feel about me? I don't know. I'm hoping that she'll greet you with an open trunk, but I don't know. <laughs> She's quite a jealous elephant. Look, why don't you tell her I'm your sister? Oh, Tilly's not so dumb. She could tell right off that you weren't. Oh. Mm, she's a woman. She could tell. <laughs> hey, let's buy some peanuts. I love peanuts. Here's a little man. Don't you love his whistle? Listen to his whistle. Uh, two bags of peanuts, please. One for the elephant and one for the lady. Oh, sure, here you are. Hey, you want some nice and pop of corn for your wife? I got him a nice and a fresh. He likes the butter, <laughs> lots of salt. Do you like? Mm, I love buttered popcorn. Does Tilly like popcorn? Tilly? Oh, you mean the elf? Oh, yeah. sure. <laughs> She's my best customer. If Tilly's not here, I'd be somewhere else. Well, that puts <laughs> my nose out a little. But you gotta remember, you gotta give Tilly the peanuts first. You see, if you give her the popcorn first, she know eat the peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tilly, Thank she you. love a butter popcorn. Thank you very much. Right this way, dear. Tilly lives over there beyond the menagerie. And I hope you noticed. Even the peanut man knew you were my wife. Is that good? Just the way it should be. I think so. Hey, watch out for the kids on the bike. Hey, boys, wait David. up! What? I won't go another step. Why not? You gotta tell me something first. Anything. What? How do you feel about chimpanzees? Chimpanzees are second best elephants. Oh, that's good. They're smarter than elephants, too, you know. No, they only look smarter. Well, what's the use of being smart if you don't look it? You ought to know. Hey, we're just in time. For what? For dinner. The seals are being fed. Oh, let's, let's, gosh, they sound awfully hungry. Let's go over there. (laughs) Hey, hey, look at that one jump. (laughs) Oh, they make swimming look so easy. (laughs) Here, how would you like to throw a fish? Uh, oh, I forgot to bring some along. I'll throw him a peanut, though. Where will where'll he go to put the shells? In their pocket, silly. Here, catch. <laughs> oh, miss. <laughs> See, after Tilly, we'll come back to the seals, okay? <laughs> All right. Hey, you never should be allowed in a zoo. 
You're too silly for words. Oh, David. <laughs> Have a peanut, silly. <laughs> I wouldn't deprive you. There are the elephants right around the bend. Oh, they've got a couple of new ones. Can you tell from over here? Of course. Well, I'm impressed. Well, here we are. Look at them. Which one is Tilly? Can't you tell? How should I tell? By her personality, of course. She's so light on her feet. She has such abandon. Is she that one? Which one? The one over there rolling her eyes, see? That one? Oh, no. That is Tilly's father. Oh, my mistake. Anyone could tell that. Careful, David. He's going to blow water at you. At you, you mean, for calling him a she. How do I know whether he's a he elephant or a she? Oh, that's very simple. It is? Mm Mm-hmm. Lady elephants have much shorter tusks than gents. Oh, then it is simple. Say, look at that cute little elephant coming this way. Hello, Tilly. David, is it? <laughs> it is. <laughs> oh, I don't blame you then. She's charming. She's such a lovely gray here, here, color. Here, give us some peanuts, Claudia. Here, Tilly, 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 Tilly. Claudia, tilly, she's tilly. an elephant, not a cat. Maybe she doesn't know it, David. She came right over. <laughs> Hello, there, lady. How you been? Hmm? <laughs> nice. Did you miss your uncle David while he was off getting married? <laughs> oh, <David>. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny? You think she doesn't understand, huh? Look at that little boy's face, David. <laughs> oh, he's a good boy. He realizes elephants are fascinating creatures. It's not the elephant, David. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> Finished almost. Don't hurry. Oh, I didn't realize how tired I was, David. Here, I'll hang up your coat, darling. You sit down. David, watch out. Claudia. Oh. Now, why didn't you throw the shells away in the park? And dirty up the lovely park, I should say not. <laughs> I'll pick them up. Won't take me a second. Yeah, I'll help. Move over. Oh, David, this is a lovely afternoon, wasn't it? Mm, not so bad. Good seeing Tilly again. Nice to have met her. I'd like to know what my competition is. You haven't got any. Haven't I? Mm -mm. I'll tell you a secret. Tilly's gotten stout since I saw her last. Happens to the best of them. Doesn't pay to let yourself go. Now, you let that be a lesson to you. I won't eat more than a ton of peanuts a day, darling. Say, this room looks completely different when you're sitting on the floor, not half so bad. Here, hand me your shells. I'll throw them in the waste paper basket. It's all right. I can reach it here under the table. Hey, Claudia, careful. You almost knocked that table over. Oh, no. Mandarin's on this table. Say, David, now that I see him again, he's much handsomer than the one in that store this afternoon. He has much more personality. Mm, No comparison. No comparison at all. You know, I don't think I've ever owned anything I like as well. I wonder if Mama called while we were out. Ask Bertha, why don't you? I'll call the office in the meanwhile. Give Roger my regards. Tell him thanks again for the little porcelain Mandarin. Anything else? Uh, Just one more thing. This? How'd you guess? <laughs> You're so subtle. Huh? You close your eyes. David, I'm glad you like elephants. Well, what's that got to do with us? Everything. Mm, how would you like to go to a baseball game sometime? I've never been to one. Would I like it? Oh, you'd love it. They sell peanuts. Let's go, but not tonight. No? Well, I'd better call Roger before it's too late. Here, help me up before you go. There you are. Darling, have we got another small table in the house? Certainly, there's one over by the window. I think we ought to put it over here by this chair. Let's put the mandarin on it. This one seems awfully unsteady. That's a good idea. Now, I'll do it when I come back. Mrs. Norton, I finished the bedroom. Oh, Bertha, wonderful. Did anybody call while we were out? No, the phone did not ring once. I dust a little in here now, yeah? You do not mind. No, I do not mind. <laughs> we'll go in the bedroom not disturb you. Bertha. Yeah? When was the last time you went to the zoo? Oh, such a long time ago. Well, do me a favor and go again soon with Fritz. Oh, we are too old. The zoo is for young people and children. Oh, no, it isn't, Bertha. That's a mistaken idea. Uh, and so? Bertha, if Fritz is anything like Mr. Norton, he'll act like a perfect fool and you'll wish you'd never gone with him. <laughs> and you'll never want to go with anybody else. Here, let me help you with this chair. Hmm? I can do Don't it. Don't be silly. I'd like mm. to help you. There. Mm. I'd, I'd dust fast and come back tomorrow. <gasps> the mandarin. Oh, all in little pieces. It is broken. 
Oh, look at it. Oh, Mrs. Norton, look what I've done in a hundred pieces. Ah, I'm so clumsy. It's all right, Bertha. All right, never the beautiful little doll all in pieces. Ah, Bertha, you are such a dumb cop. It's my fault, Bertha. I, I should have put the other table here. Miss, Mrs. Norton, I buy you another. Tell me. I go right now and please tell me Don't where. Don't be silly, Bertha. It's not worth all this fuss. Oh, but I must get you another. We'll get ourselves another. Maybe it isn't so simple. It's simpler than that. This was just a cheap little china doll we bought at the ten cent store. It's certainly not worth all this fuss, Bertha. You can get another just like it? Exactly like it. No trouble at all. Mrs. Snot, I'm so glad. I was so unhappy I broke I have already forgotten about it, Bertha. We'll get another in the morning. And I pay for it. Anything you say, just so you don't worry. (sighs) I feel better now about it. I hope you pick up the pieces. Oh, it's much too late. Say, Fritz will be sending the police out for you if you don't get downstairs. I'll pick up the pieces myself. Mrs. Norton, good night. I come up early tomorrow. Fine, Bertha. And thanks for coming up. I buy you another little doll tomorrow. Good night. Oh, David. Hello, darling. David, he's broken in little pieces. I know. You saw it? Mm Mm-hmm. I heard you, too. You know, you're a nice girl, darling. I love you. What else could I do, David? I know lots of people who wouldn't have thought to do what you did. Oh, anybody would have. Anybody who'd had as nice a day as I've had. Think so? I was just being selfish, David. I I couldn't bear to spoil the lovely afternoon we had by seeing Bertha so upset. Besides, the mandarins live to be centuries old, and, 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 and Bertha already thinks she's too old to go to the zoo. <laughs> do me a favor, darling. What, David? I promise to take you to the zoo once every week if you promise to stay just this selfish. It's a deal? It's a deal. Come on. Help me pick up the mandarin's pieces. All story material used on this broadcast of Claudia was under the supervision of Rose Franken and William Brown Maloney. It's no trick these days to buy enough Coca-Cola to take home and stock up the family refrigerator. But did you know that more and more food stores are also installing the familiar red cooler so that you can enjoy ice-cold, delicious Coca-Cola on the spot and shop refreshed? It's a point to bear in mind the next time you do your marketing. Every day, Monday through Friday, Claudia comes to you, transcribed, with the best wishes of your friendly neighbor who bottles Coca-Cola. So listen again tomorrow at the same time. And now this is Joe King saying au revoir and remember. Whoever you are, whatever you do, wherever you may be, when you think of refreshment, think of Coca-Cola. For ice-cold Coca-Cola makes any pause the pause that refreshes.